Hello everyone and welcome to Vault 88. So, um, I had a little bit of a conundrum today because I didn't have any content to upload. Uh, I got behind on making videos because I was gone for the weekend and I used up my backlog anyways. I knew I wanted to do vault related stuff because it's new and you know everybody wants to see see it. As you can see I cleared all of the junk out, all the trains and stuff. Now I haven't had time since this vault DLC came out to actually play with it much. I, I did a little. I cleared out everything and I played around a little bit with the atrium tab and that's pretty much all I've done. So I I didn't have time to record any I didn't have time to play around with it enough to record a nice polished how to how to build this you know and I haven't completed the main quest either. I mean main quest the vault quest. I haven't completed. I haven't even continued it. It's I'm exactly where I left off when last video you saw. Okay? I still built the overseer's desk, which I found it is in specials special overseer desk. So, I have to build this for the overseer before I can continue the quest and I've heard that if you build it, once you build it, you can't move it until a certain point in the quest, like maybe, I don't know, afterwards, or I don't know. I don't know exactly what point it is that you can actually move it, but I didn't like the idea of sticking it somewhere and then it gets in my way of building and I can't build it, build where I want to because it's in the way. So I thought maybe I would build the atrium and the overseer's office first and then I will put the overseer's desk in it and continue the quest and I guess maybe I'll just continue the quest with you guys sort of as a let's build slash let's play. I know it's not a very long quest but yeah you don't get everything in the build menu unlocked until you complete the quest. Speaking of which that includes stuff getting unlocked from outside the vault. So like this entire vault tab is not available outside vault 88 until you complete the vault quest. Also, some other stuff that are in other tabs, like the resource tab has some vault related stuff in it. Um, these are available outside the vault right now without completing the main quest, but the security stuff, guard posts, these things, this, 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 these are not available outside the vault until you complete the vault quest, unfortunately. So I can't add these to Abernathyville until then, until I complete the vault quest. So I can't make any more Abernathyville bitty, 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 bleh. <laughs> bitty, 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 bitty. Anyway, until then, okay? So I gotta do the vault. So, feedback from you guys, pretty much the majority of you wants me to do the vault build. And so I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna do the fort too, so don't worry about that. After Abernathyville is finished, I'm going to start the fort. And I'll just do the vault and the fort simultaneously and I'll just alternate between them, okay? So then everybody can be happy. Those who wanted to see the fort will see it and those who wanted to see the vault will see it too, so. Anyway, that's my plan. All right, now let's build this atrium. I have played around with it a little bit, but I am by no means an expert with it yet, so I apologize in advance if I do a lot of fumbling and trying to figure things out. Because I, it's new to me too, you guys. I, I'm not an authority on the Vault Tech DLC. <laughs> so we can learn together, yeah? All right, I'll try not to fumble too much. <laughs> so, 
the best place to start building your vault, I mean, you could pretty much start it anywhere you want in this cavern, but the best place to start is right from this hallway. Because when you snap things to here, they will line up perfectly with the cavern, okay? They designed the cavern so that it fits perfectly. And, like, see that tunnel there? This tunnel. I haven't gone down there yet. But it's designed to fit perfectly so that if you make... If you build down here, it'll line up perfect, okay? So you're gonna want to start from this. Now, <clears throat> I've, I've seen on other people's videos and comments and stuff around that people have a lot of trouble connecting the doors, connecting the different rooms together. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to do that. Um, I would recommend adding a hallway piece to this, this, okay, so to come from a hallway to a door, you need an end cap for your hallway. And there's one at the end of each of these sections. So like you have the domestic section, then you have the utility section, and you have the wide halls, and you have the atrium. There's end caps for the halls on in each one of those. And that's this, okay? But for some reason, it doesn't work with... The, I don't know, I haven't really been able to get it to work using this, because it's facing kind of the wrong... I mean, you can put this here. But you don't really need to unless well I'll show you <laughs> it's it's conf it is kind of confusing so what you're gonna want to do then is you can get one of these but you can't snap th so this is the room door okay this opens up into a room but you can't snap room doors onto just the open because there's not an end cap on there. So see, that's what the, the end cap is for. So put that there and then you can uh, put the room door on. However, they fight a little bit here. So, and they don't match up quite right. I didn't like how it looked. So what you can actually do is there is a hallway piece in here. It's called hall to doorway. So it's got a hall on one end and a doorway on the other end. You can stick that on there. It's already got a built-in transition piece. Okay, And I found that that works actually a lot better. So now what I want actually is the atrium door because we're going into the atrium, not a smaller room. So I'm going to use the other door piece, the atrium door. It's just got a slightly different <laughs> look to it, I guess. <laughs> All right. So that's the entrance to the atrium. And then we need to get these giant atrium wall pieces. There's two sizes, the small one which is just a single story and then the humongous one that's got two stories which is what I'm going to use so I want a two story vault I don't know if you can hear that but that if you can hear a cat meowing that is my cat and he is driving me up the wall and here look did you just see what I did I look behind me because he's behind me in real life but I look behind me in the game expecting to see him there. That's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> if he drives me any higher up the wall, I'm going to have to go feed him or something, I guess. Alright, now we can put these up here. Okay, I want to do two of those. Get up there. Ah. Okay. So that is the beginnings of the atrium. Now, 
for the roof. There, there are these pieces. These are the fillers, and you use these on the small ones or the large ones, okay? And you just put these up here, and you can extend the roof out as far as you want it to go until you reach the other side. Um, now, I, I thought seven, six or seven is a good number. Actually, I think seven is a really good number because... Then you got, well, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> um, that's six, okay. Come on, get up there. There you go, come on. Snap on. <laughs> come on. There. Was that seven? Oh man, I'm having trouble seeing properly. Yeah, that's seven. Okay. Because if we don't... I want the overseer's office at the other end. You know how they do with the, the round window overlooking the atrium. That's what I want to do. And I need to leave room back here to have the overseer's office. So I think seven of these... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. it's It's got some weird optical illusions happening for me anyways all right now um, put the rest up there what did I do all of it there we go all right and now the back wall where the overseers office is going to be. There we go. Just snap that right up there like that. There we go. Now I'm not going to have a door back here. Um, let me see. I need... I believe it's this one. There we go. And then... Um, the wall piece. This one. And then the overseer's window piece. There. Alright. That is the beginning of the atrium. We just have to put the floor down, which I'm going to do now. And obviously walls on the sides, but yeah. One thing at a time. And uh, yeah, you guys probably don't need to watch this whole thing here. All right. We got the floor. That's huge. Huge. Okay. Now, we need to get the... So we're going to have walkway going across all the way around. Okay? So, because we're going to have rooms on both levels. So we need a walkway going all the way around. So, that's also in the atrium tab. This whole thing that we're doing today is going to be in the atrium tab. Well, except for the overseer's office, of course. Okay, where is the floor piece I'm looking for? It's the floor plus ceiling piece. And there it is. Ceiling and floor. Okay, and those go here. And just uh, take all these together. And on the other side too. I think I'm not going to put the the rooms, like the doorways and stuff that go to the rooms in just yet. Because I, I want to get the basic shape of my vault. 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 <laughs> built. Now these ones go over the doors. They have those little braces on the backs of them. So they go over, they go along the wall here like that. Okay. 
And I suppose, actually, that I might want to put those on that side too. But I don't have a wall there yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we need them on that side. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have the wall yet that goes over here. Because I'm going to have a wall here. But it's going to have doors and probably windows in it. And then there will be rooms back here of... Like, I want to put some shops and, like, the barber and things like that out here in the atrium, you know? So... In, the, in a cafe and stuff like that. So later I might put these ones with the braces on this side too. But for now I'm not going to because it's not, that's not what I'm building today. I'm building the overseer's office today. So yeah. Now I got, I want to put a walkway going across. So we're going to put it in the middle, and this is the middle. So I'm going to take out the middle piece of flooring, and I'm going to put a brace, um, I think it might be in this tab. There's a, like a brace piece, and it's this one, right there. Because I want to hold up the walkway that goes across. I probably don't need to. Nah, I think it might look funny if I don't. So then they have these things here. So these snap on like that and put one on the other side. See the railing curves? So then you can continue the railing. You can snap that on like that, okay? Then there's a middle piece that can go right here. Whoops. And it snaps in. It does. I know it does. There it goes. It wants to. There. Probably you can put the pillar under it afterwards. It goes in a little bit easier that way. Because you can. It'll just go right in. All right. So, what do you guys think about that for now? And and the so the stairs now. I'm thinking of putting like a stair here and a stair here to get up to the higher levels. What do you guys think? How does that look? So there will be railing along here, and then over like on here we'll have. I don't know, some quarters or something. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm actually going to put up here, what's going to be in the rooms. But what do you think of this atrium? I'll probably have the cafe down here. Like, have the kitchen going out that way and then, like, have seating. I don't know. I haven't decided. I don't want to make it look like all the other vaults out there, but at the same time, it will just because it's a vault. <laughs> it's going to be reminiscent of everything that we've already seen. All right. Now, for the overseer's office, when I was playing around with this, I had a difficult time getting it to match up and fit just right. So I discovered that the easiest way to do the overseer's office is to start with the overseer's window and work your way down. It's a lot easier to do it that way than working your way up. And it's, I mean, it matches up, but like I had trouble getting it the right level first before I built the office. And then the office ended up being off center and it was just a big old deal. So it was a lot easier to build it starting from the window and build it out. So we want to go to the overseer tab and the overseer window. And I, yeah, it, I can't actually do it though, darn it. I was hoping I could just snap it up there, but it's not going to let me. So one thing I could do then, I guess I have to build it up from the, t from the bottom. That's really frustrating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let's see, 
I want... I want a door. No, I don't want a door. I want a hall. Just a hall without a door. Um, is that one? No, that has a window. I don't want a window. Let's see. Here it is. A hall without a door so that you can just go straight in. Let's see. I don't really like it being under the stairs, though. Maybe I'll move this stair over here. Or not. There it goes. <laughs> Alright. So, I need a cap on that, though, don't I? Well, maybe I do want a door. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I haven't actually figured this out all the way yet. As I, you know, told you already. But... Okay. Let's... Mm... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. What look like without the... Hmm. No, that doesn't look right. It doesn't look like it belongs there. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Um... Oh, right. I need a... Oh, I just lost my thought. I need... What is it? What am I, th what am I trying to think? Think about here. Oh, I lost my thought. Okay, whatever. So that won't go there. Ah, uh, here we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for right there, yeah. So I want a corner piece. I actually did want to extend it out a little bit past this thing. Just a little bit. So it's sort of like a little alcove or something, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along, everyone. I have not made a plan for this at all. So I'm looking for... Oh, what, uh... Am I in the wrong tab? No, there we go. I wanted a door piece. There! That's what I was looking for. Okay. Now, a hallway. So now we want the door to hallway piece. There we go. And will that go on there? No, of course not. Oh, that's, um... No, that's the wrong one. There we go. That's what I wanted, I think. Yeah. Okay, now we need to put some stairs on it. So let's see here. I'm not sure. Let's let's experiment about the stairs. Cause I could do straight up this way and then go over, or I could go over and then go straight up. Let's see. Let's see how that works. Um, I think I want to go straight up and then over because otherwise... Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Okay. So, straight up and then over. This one. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do... Don't worry, it's... Oh, yeah, it's getting kind of way over there, isn't it? Well, I was going to put, like, a security office here before you go into the overseer's office because, you know, so people don't just barge in and bother her. But I'm not sure if that's... I think that looks like it's a little too far away. Huh. Oh yeah, because I have this here. Hmm. See, it's it's I don't know. <laughs> it's difficult because they didn't make I don't know. I think they needed to have slightly different stairs. Maybe I can twist the stairs. 
it's it's really kind of frustrating the stairs I, I, I I've had a lot of frustration with them so far so um, let's see here let me stick this somewhere else for a second and get out the other one I don't know if I can actually make them go the way I want them to go because that one now is way over there and then it will be facing the wrong way no because that's not what I want to do okay um, now it would work if this wasn't here and this just connected straight to this then it wouldn't be too far I, th I think it's just one section too far over so what can I do there then what can I do to make Um, what, did, what, what, wait, wait, wait a second. Where am I? Okay. I want, because this can't attach to this, and let me see. Maybe I can put an actual different piece here. Let's see. Um, what, I want rooms is what I want, I think. So, I want this room, this color, so yeah, no I needed like an upper, do they have an upper? No they don't, of course not, maybe they have one in, whoops, the atrium tab, I need a door, yeah that's what I need, I need a door piece, okay. We're figuring it out a little bit at a time here, right? So then let's see if I can put, where is it? That floor piece, the roof floor piece. There we go. All right, that's what I was looking for. It's hard to find this stuff, you know? It's like there's so many pieces and it's really hard to find the one you're looking for. So now I need the door to hallway that's got only one. There we go. There. Now I can do it. Now the stairs will fit. Or not. Yeah, they will. They should. Because this is the way I did it before. I don't know why I tried doing it a different way last time. I just did or this time. No. It's the s is it the same? Huh. I didn't really want the stairs coming directly off the the room there though. I feel it is exactly the same as it was only different. <laughs> it's the same only built with different pieces. How is this possible? <laughs> Frustrating. Okay, I built this to practice. Oh, now it doesn't even match up. Oh, right. I was gonna put the office here. Well, let's let's put the office here and see how it looks. And if it looks stupid, we'll just redo it. I guess. Okay, so I want a security office first, and we need a security office door. So we need. I want a corner door. Um, corner a corner door. not this corner. Do they have... There we go. And I can't... Oh! I need to put a... Oh right! I'm forgetting a piece! That's why it's not working. I'm forgetting the hall to doorway piece that goes here. Come up, then put the office. And Uh, yeah, office. Office door like this. There. Now we're getting somewhere. It's working. I just forgot how it was supposed to go. <sighs> Alright. 
I'm sorry um, that you guys have to watch me fumble along like this. Especially since probably some of you know what I'm trying to do and are be like, it's that one. It's, you know, you're screaming at your TVs. I'm sorry. Or your computers, whatever you're watching this on. Okay, so this is going to be the security office before we go into the overseer's office. And, like, I'll put a security desk here. Make sure that nobody comes and bothers her. You know, you need an appointment to see the overseer. Alright, so we're going to get the overseer's office. And I want a door. A another corner door is what I want. Not that one. This one. Stick that there, and then uh, solid wall piece. There we go. One there, and the next one should be the overseer's window. Boom. And then another corner piece. Um, that's not a corner piece. Neither is that. There it is. And one right here. Send then another solid wall piece. And one more solid wall piece. There. And one more corner piece. Um. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! I did it! <laughs> I did it! Oh, we need to put some glass in here or else we'll fall through. So that would be under doors, I believe. The overseer's glass there. Ew. Get some... I guess they don't have Windex or anything like that in this world, do they? That's a Braxo cleaner, which is pretty abrasive. Alright, overseer's office. So, like, I'll put her desk here and... She can have maybe a sitting area here. And eventually I am going to put some quarters off to the side, like her sleeping area. But for now, this is good. I I like this. I like this. I like how it turned out, okay? Now I want to just, for fun, stick the security desk down here. Let's see how it looks. Oh, oops. There we go security desk so we can put it like right um maybe like this or should it go like this maybe like that I don't know maybe it looks kind of funny that way, though. Hmm. I think I might like it better this way. Like, so he can walk through here. And sit. So he's just facing the wrong direction. Huh. It's odd that... I don't know. I wish I could turn the chair around to face whichever way I wanted it to go. Oh well, I can fiddle with it later, but that's kind of the idea. Anyway, I don't have any power generator set up. Well, I guess there's the one generator. I don't know if um, it works. Because, like, I don't know if I have to put another one. Because you have one already, right? You have the power generator and it's in um where is it no it's not that way lost i'm getting lost it's this way it's down here so you already have one power generator here but it doesn't look like it's connecting to anything it, it doesn't look like it's on i don't know if this is like active like like you can actually use this Oh, you can, uh... Yeah, you can. Hmm. It's just that it doesn't use the the flooring of the vault to... Um, the power travels through the floor. You know? So, um, wrong way. 
power travels through the floor. So I might need to make another reactor room out here before I can put lights up and stuff like that. But it is actually pretty bright in here. The lights from the ceiling out here are going through it. But it's not as light as I would like it. Anyway, I'm going to call this good for now, y'all. This is the atrium part we done. Um, let me know what you think about the stairs. I'm actually going to put this one on this side now since I switched that side. I don't want them both on the same side. Okay. I just didn't want the overseer's entrance to be right under the stairs. And then I can put railings around and stuff and it'll look a lot better. Wow, that really reflects the light, doesn't it? It's like all white and shiny. <laughs> Anyways, so I'd like your opinions, your comments. I, I know you probably, probably some of you who have spent the last two days or three days, however long it's been since this came out, like totally figuring this out while I haven't, <laughs> might know a little bit more about it than me. So feel free to give me your suggestions and... Give me ideas, too, for the types of rooms and stuff that I can put in here. On the sides here in the atrium. Because I know that there's going to be the gym stuff, the fitness stuff. So I would probably want to have a fitness center and a barber and a cafe and stuff like that. Okay? But I don't want... I don't know if I want all of it coming off the atrium. Maybe I do. I, I kind of want the atrium to have the feel of the town center where all the shops and community things happen. And then I'll have the quarters somewhere else. I haven't explored the rest of this cavern. Like, see, I can go back there, but I haven't explored it yet. I just scrapped it. I haven't explored it, and then there's one on this side too. So I don't know how big those areas are yet. So it's hard to plan where to put things when you don't know how much space you have to work with. But I will go exploring down there probably in the next episode. I didn't want to do it without you guys though. So that's why I didn't do it. All right. All right. That is the end of this episode, you guys. And sorry it's so long. Well, I guess it's not really that long <laughs> compared to my other videos. Anyway, you guys, let me know how you like this build. If you like how I'm doing it with the quest included in it. I know I didn't do any of it today, but probably will tomorrow. I'm going to put the overseer's desk up there. Or not tomorrow. I mean, I'll probably record it tomorrow, but <laughs> you won't see it tomorrow. Anyways, I'm not going to post these one day after another. I have other videos to post too. <laughs> so... You'll see it next time. Next time I'm going to tell, I'm going to build the overseer desk and tell her and we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure some of you guys do. But anyway, don't give me spoilers. I know it's not like a huge quest, but I don't like spoilers <laughs> of quests. I don't mind spoilers of like building things and what's to come and stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, I will just ramble on forever because it's late and I'm tired and I need to go to bed now. So I will see you guys in the next video, okay? <laughs> Bye.